Welcome back, friends, and thank you for joining me today. And if you're new here, my name is Kim. Um, today, I just want to show you, I'm going to be setting up this hydroponic system that I purchased. Now, nobody sent this to me. I did purchase this on my own. I would love it if companies would send me some for reviews, because after looking at this, I want to get a lot of them. <laughs> I have many, many things I would love to grow in the house. But anyways, um, this is I got this a couple months ago. And I actually ordered it back, I believe it was a Black Friday special. It was before um, Black Friday. It was an early sale. And then it got lost in the mail. And then I just got really busy. I unboxed it about a month ago. It's just been sitting here. But I'm finally getting around to getting it put together. So I figured I would do that in this video just to show you if you're interested in hydroponics. Um, this is all new to me. So this is my first time ever doing this. Um, if you follow my channel, I grow seeds in my garden. I mean, I grow a large garden. I have 13 or 14 big raised beds, plus a lot of part of a lot of pots that I grow in. Um, and I start all of those from seeds in my house, and then transplant it into my garden. Um, some of them go directly into the soil outside. But um, I'm used to growing in soil, but I've never tried hydroponics, so I'm going to put this up, and if anybody would be interested, I will see if I can find a link to this. Um, you can go check it out yourself if we seem to like it, so let's set this up and see if we, how we care for it. I think I'm really going to like it. I've wanted to do hydroponics for a long time, but this is made by Just Smart. Now, it's not an expensive unit. I already went ahead and... I think I said I pulled it out of the box about a month ago. But this is not an expensive unit. I just purchased a cheaper unit and a smaller unit just to see if I like it, and I'm sure I will. But I just want to try it out on a smaller size. And then I figured after I have tried it out and like it, then I will go back and probably get me some more. <laughs> I already looked at some. I already have some of some shopping carts. And it's very, very exciting. I always want to try hydroponics. But everything came inside of here. And like I said, it's been sitting for about a month. Um, here is the charging cable for it. And this is the top. It does hold 12 of the pods. So you can grow 12 plants. Comes with two containers of plant food. Here are the growing pots that you put in to the water to grow in. And then these are the caps that would go into these little holes when you are not growing anything. We'll like, put those, show those in a minute. And then this is to tell you your water level. I'm not sure the exact terms of what everything is called. Let's get this out of here. This is the light pole. Now this is the light for it. This would snap into here. I believe it would go in that way. This is the lights. These are LED lights. And this one does have different settings on it. That's why I had ordered this one. Um, it has a power button, a vegetable button, flower button, and then you can also turn your pump on and off. But I like the fact that you could switch between vegetable or flower depending on what you are wanting to grow. And then in here are the pots that you would put your little, I'm not sure what they would call them, sponges in. Here are some clear caps. I will put those on in just a minute. And it also comes with a pair of tweezers for planting your seeds, I'm assuming. But here is the inside of the unit. Now the only thing down here is the, the pump, it looks like. The only thing I didn't like about this is I did see some others online that had the clear water gauge here where you could see how much water was in that. 
I got to looking over this, and it does have measurements in here, how much water is in here. But it does not show you on the outside how much water is in there. So I kind of wish I would have looked a little bit more, and I would have probably bought one that had that. But this one will work out for our first one. So I am going to pull this manual out because I have no idea what I am supposed to do here. I'm assuming everything just pops together really easy. I've seen a lot of people putting them together, and the manual is really good on it. Comes with instructions. This is everything that is in your package, everything that comes with it. And this will adjust to, I believe it said 23 inches tall. So if you're growing taller plants, that would be really good. I bought that this unit because it adjusted up that high. I figured I wanted to maybe try some peppers or tomatoes or something that were a little bit taller. So, okay, let's see. First instruction is start by removing the protective front sponge from the contact of the supporting rod. And then you insert it. Okay, so assuming this goes down in here, this way. And then this would go into the top of here. Now, I'm assuming they are talking about the sponge right here. Hmm. It looks like it's glued in place. But in order for that to go in there and make a connection, it does have a little... Yeah, you would have to remove that. I hope I'm removing this right. <laughs> it says to remove it, so but it doesn't show a picture of what you're removing. It just says, start by removing the protective sponge from the contact of the supporting rod. And it is glued in place, so I guess it does just pop right off of there. It's just sticky. Okay, well, I guess if we don't need to put it back on, we can. <laughs> Hopefully I am doing that right. Um, let's see. Proceed by inserting the rod into the base. When inserting, make sure that the rod faces forward until it is fully inserted. Well, it can only go in one way because you can see that it is notched right here. It is a, and then this is notched also. So. And it does have a little clip here. Oh, not clipped right in. She can't pull it back out now. <laughs> okay. And then it says, um, well, step number two says you remove the sponge from the contact of the support rod. Insert the rod into the part of the plant lamp until it is, well, there is no perspective, protective sponge on the top of there. But I'm assuming I have to put this on first. This is a, this is to tell you your water level. Okay, it says to, this will go up, I'm assuming, to show your water level. It says to pop that into there. So, so far, this is pretty easy. And then it says to place this into, you have the 12 spots for your pot, and then you have the round one here. I'm going to put that in that hole. Now it shows that towards the front of the unit. So I'm going to put that on. I can move this closer so you can see what I am doing. here. And this seems pretty easy. Yeah, I wish I would have bought one of these a long time ago. <laughs> now it says to take this piece and it says to remove the protective sponge from this end. And you can see that here. This is where it plugs in. But there is no protective sponge on there. I'm trying to do this without hitting my grow lights above me. I don't know if you can see these hanging. I'm getting ready to get my 
seed started in my soil, but this one is the same way. It is notched, so it can only fit in there one way. And that is nice. And this does have an adjuster on it where you can raise it and you can raise it up and down. It is a little stiff there. So I'm just going to leave it down for now so you can see what I'm doing. It is dusty from sitting out. I'm raising baby chickens in the house right now. And anybody who has raised baby chickens knows that there is dust everywhere. <laughs> okay, it says the next step to do is to insert the power cord into the back. of the unit. This has a plug back here. I just plug into. Okay. Put this back around. And then we'll go to the next instruction. Okay, the next instruction says we have plant food A and plant food B. And on the back of these bottles, it tells you to fill the bottle containing B solid nutrient particles with purified water and shake bottles to fully mix the contents. Now, I just have some bottled water here because I am on tap water and we do have chlorine in our water. Let's get this over here. These have a Squirt nozzle. I would have to have to pull that out of there. I have to get a knife and pull that out of there. But there are some tablets in each one of these. You can hear them. And I'm just going to use some bottled water. It does say purified water. I can do this without spilling it. So I overfilled it a little. <laughs> okay, now it says to you, I'm going to get a knife and get this little cap out of here because this is a squirt bottle. And instead of getting a knife, I just got a toothpick because <laughs> it just pops it right out of there. That's much easier. Okay, put the lid back on this one. the same with this one. Try not to spill it this time. It's very hard to see. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and let both of these dissolve. Says it should just take a couple of minutes. Okay, I'm gonna set these aside and let them dissolve. That's what the instructions say. And the next thing it says, and it does come with this plant food user's guide, which is really handy. It tells you how much to put in. It looks like a full capful of each into this unit. And it does say to replace the water about every two weeks to dump the water out, clean it out, and put new water in. And it says these will last for up to five months after they have been mixed. So that's really nice. It should, there is a lot in there and it just takes a capful for each one. So, but the next step says to add water. It says to remove, I'm gonna keep my paper towel here. It says to remove this. I wish I had a little funnel, this would be easier. <laughs> And it says to add water. Now, if we remove that, how are we going to know how much water to put in? <laughs> hmm. I'm just going to lift this up because that is a lot of water to add. If you need to top off your water, I'm assuming you could probably use that. But this is a lot of water to add all at once. So I'm just going to lift it up. See the marks back there. Let's see how much 
water we are supposed to have. Now this should tell us we have a minimum mark here and a maximum. So you don't want to go over that. So I will go ahead and add more water. We're about at the halfway mark. I will have to go get me another jug of water. I'll top it off here in a minute. That brings us up a little bit. That brings us up enough for now. And then I will add some more water in just a little bit. Okay. Let's pull all these pieces back out. I'm kind of liking this unit. It's, it's nice. It's compact. It's small. It's smaller than I thought it would be. So I am very excited. I want to grow hydroponically. I have seen so many people doing it out there. Um... If you are new to hydroponics like me, there are a lot of good channels out there. Um, I actually got the hydroponic bug because I watch Mike over at Mike's Chaotic Gardening. And I've been watching him for over a year now. And he grows the best plants hydroponically. Last year he had peppers and tomatoes and squash and you name it, any herbs. Um, this year he's grown some flowers for his wife. But he really got me hooked on it, so go check out him. He has been very helpful. I've asked him some questions. He's encouraged me to do it, and I have the hydroponic bug now. <laughs> I definitely want to try it, so I'm going to try it. And there will probably be more videos in the near future <laughs> with more hydroponic system because I can already tell you I want more of them. I would love to be able to grow all kinds of things in the house, especially right now. These are these, these little baskets. I'm just putting these in here. But especially right now, it is cold outside. We had snow last week. Um, I can't grow anything outside right now. I am in Colorado, and it'll be middle of April before I can plant anything outside because it is just too cold. So this way it will allow me to grow indoors so I can have something green growing at all times. This is just a sticker and it just explains the water here for this. It explains your water levels. Okay, now these are caps. So if you do not want to use all of your spaces, and it has been recommended by a lot of people in videos to not fill all of these spaces because your plants just won't get enough light and I think the roots will be too much inside. Um, if you're going to fill them all up, you probably have to pull the plants out as they get a little bit bigger and then repot them into soil, which is probably what I'm going to do. I'm probably going to fill them all up just because I'm excited and this is my first time. <laughs> Um, and then as the plants grow, if they start to get too big or once they start to root and, and grow, I'll just pull them out and I will put them in some soil, especially like some herbs I want to get started. Sorry about the squeaking again. <laughs> I have little Gus, my Pomeranian. He is playing with his squeaky toy again. But these are caps, so if you do not want to grow in every unit, you can just put that in there. It will help keep the, the water in there. And then these are also domes. After you have there's two of them stuck together there. Get these apart. After you put these are your sponges. And they have a little hole where you put your seed down in here. And they do come with some tweezers. So you can use your tweezers to put your seed down in there. But after you have put your sponge down in the hole. I definitely need to add water because you can see the sponge only got wet up to there. So I will have to add some more water. I will actually probably have to go buy some. I'm not sure. I have to look and see if I have another jug of water. <laughs> so I may have to plant this stuff tomorrow. Um, this is a dome cap. After you have got your seed in there, you can put this on. It's like a humidity dome. When I grow in soil, I use the little containers that have humidity domes. And it works perfect. Um, I can't get seeds to germinate real well without them. So I definitely recommend humidity domes, whether you're growing with soil or with water. Because I'm sure it works exactly the same way with water. So, I am excited. I'm going to 
Actually, I have to add some more water before I turn this on. Let me see. Well, there's enough water. It's about three quarters of the way full in there. So I'm going to go ahead and plug this in. And we're going to see if it lights up and make sure the filter works. Or make sure the pump in there works. So let me get this plugged in. Okay, now the book did say it would beep when you plug it in, and the top has lit up. I can't tilt it sideways to show you because it is full of water now. I can see that the, well, it did light up and then it went off. That's, okay, there we go. Just hit the power button again, and the lights are now on, and they are bright, very, very bright. That is really nice. Um, I am hearing some movement in here. That is very, very quiet. You can barely hear it. I can see the movement in the water, so the pump is working. But wow, I was thinking it was going to be like a fish tank pump. <laughs> where you would hear the bubbles and hear the noise. And I don't know if you can hear it, but... It is very, very quiet. Well, I am very happy with that. <laughs> I was worried it was going to be noisy and I was going to be hearing it all the time. But um, the pump is working in there. I can see the water moving around. There's not a whole lot of movement in the water, but I think the water just needs to keep moving so it doesn't go stale on you. But I am very impressed with this. The lights underneath are very, very bright. Now you can see everything really easy. And like I said, this adjusts to 23 inches. So if you would, if you're going to start out low, this is as low as it will go. Oops, I just turned the power off. It does have some very sensitive buttons up there. Okay, I won't push any buttons. And I'm going to turn it over to vegetable. Now, it did say that the lights will stay on for 16 hours and then turn off for 8 hours as long as it's on the vegetable setting, which is perfect because that's about what your garden is doing outside in the summertime. So, I am about really, really happy with this. I'm impressed how quiet it is. That is very impressive. I'm going to go ahead and put the cap over that. Just There's no seeds in there yet, but this video has been long enough, so... I just want to say, if you're going to try hydroponics, go for it. Go do it. I'm, I'm finally trying it. I'm happy. Very excited. So stick around. My next video will show me planting the seeds in here. And then I will also have update videos on how everything is growing. And in the next couple of days, I'm also going to have some indoor seed starting videos that are soil for my garden. I've got to get some onions going and some peppers and tomatoes and all kinds of things. I've got to get seeds going. It is end of January and we start putting the cold weather crops out in middle of April and then the warmer ones in the middle of May. So I got to get them going. Um, they take a long time to grow. Some herbs, maybe even some flowers. So I'm going to go ahead and end this video right here, but I will see if I can find a link for this. I did buy this off of Walmart, um, but it, like I said, it was a Black Friday special, so I will see if I can find an Amazon link for the same kind um, if you want to go check them out. Um, hydroponics is amazing. I would definitely recommend you can grow lettuce, you can grow your herbs. Um, I'm going to try it, and I hope it works, and I think it will because of a bunch of videos I have watched, and... Everybody is growing successfully, so thanks everybody for following along. Just wanted to show you my new unit, and please like and subscribe, and if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. I will be happy to answer anything. Um, I'll learn along with you, or if you tell me what I'm doing wrong or any suggestions on what I need to do before I get my seeds in there, go ahead and let me know. This video, I will get it edited, and I will get it out tomorrow morning. Um... So it should post before I get any seeds planted. Um, so if I'm doing anything wrong, let me know. <laughs> Don't want to mess it up. So thanks for watching, everybody. Have a great day.